Welcome to the Dragon Emperor channel, and I'm back making YouTube videos. Today I'm with Ethereal and Ash. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Alright, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be <laughs> Yo, today we're gonna be ranking anime characters based on, you know, how good of a character or how cool they are, you know. Do they have a good motive and all that? So um yeah, just before we get into the video, if you guys like, please subscribe and enjoy. I will be leaving Ash and Ethereal's YouTube channel links in the description, so go check those out. They both make some dope content. Alright, let's get, let's get into this. Alright, y'all, so... I don't know the first character, so... How do you not gotta know do him? That's Master Roshi! That's, that's my boy, Master Roshi. I don't know Master Roshi, so I'm gonna let you guys handle that one. Master Roshi, Master Roshi was fucking Goku's first okay. real instructor. But besides his father, his father also taught him a little bit. My favorite stories. feat of Master Roshi is he blew up the moon. Oh, I remember that shit, like literally at a power level of two hundred, I think. Mm, All right, so between you two, Krillin surpassed him. Krillin surpassed Master Roshi. Between you two, where are we putting Master Roshi? Ah, uh, that's right, because not all of us are gonna know every character. All right, Master Roshi. Master Roshi does not like go to like S tier. I think I think he's like in between A to B tier. He's a really good character, and he's like stuck around for like the entirety of the show once he was introduced. How about you, Ethereal? Hmm. He's high B. High B. I I I can work with that. Yeah, high B. High B. All right. We're not ranking within the tier list, right? We're just putting them in the tier list. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We'll put him at B. All right. Next, we got Jiraiya, Goat Jiraiya. So minimum, he's A. Minimum he's A, yes, I have to say minimum he's A. Maximum he's S? Yeah, yeah, maximum he's S. He was a, a great mentor to Naruto, Um, had to die to pain, had a great arc, was a horny goofball. <laughs> and the pervy sage. The pervy sage. Um, So what are we going to settle on, guys? A tier? A is fair, but I feel like, the, I feel like everyone's going to fight us on that. I'm gonna leave, I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna say A, but uh, but like, what do you think, uh, you think? Well, low S. Low S. All right, screw. Let's go with S. All right, all right, all right. All right. So I don't know the next one. This pink haired jumbo. I feel Neither. like I know her. I feel like I know her. Does Ether know her? I do not know her. It doesn't help that he doesn't know her because now I have to try to remember. People are gonna flame us for that one. <laughs> I feel like they yeah, are. For real. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. We could just put her in like mid. There should be. Can you add a category for we do not know? Yeah, I mean, nah. Let's just put her at. Yeah, let's just put her at like like mid. And like, I feel free to correct the fuck out of us in the comments. Nah, nah. Hold up, hold up. I got you guys. I got you. Just check it on the spot right now. I don't know. All right. Next, uh, you guys got you Our guys know this Kilo character. Uh, Our boy Kilo. Uh. I don't know that character. Hunter X Hunter. If that helps. I don't watch Hunter X Hunter. Don't say yikes. Me either. Well, where would you put he it at? Is, he is an assassin character okay. in the Hunter X Hunter series. Alrighty, alrighty. So, what would you rate him since you're the only one that's watched it? He's had a rough childhood, to say the least. He's definitely going behind Master Roshi. All right, so C tier or like right next. Oh, uh, we got the we got the Death Note guy himself. Um, what's his Let name again? See. Oh, that's the Ryuk. 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 I would go personally, just me. I think I'd put him at he's B tier. He's not the main character. Yeah, he's not super relevant. In fact, he could even go C or D. He doesn't like have a character. Like, period. Like his whole thing is like, I was bored. He loves so I, I kind of liked his presence he likes apples, in the show. Yeah, like he, his whole character was, I was bored, so I dropped a book in the human world. I kind of liked his presence, though. I, I would go C tier, though. I can live with C tier. There, I can live with that too. It's like he didn't have a big involvement, but like he kind of like was a little scary, but funny yeah, at the no, same he, time. He was interesting, don't get me wrong, but like, yeah. there wasn't a lot about it. For sure. Alright, who's the next character? That's Ace. Ace. That's Ace from One Piece. And I'm, uh, you're talking to the guy who's watched all the way through One Piece. Oh. Damn, I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the process right now. Felipe, that's a, Felipe, that's a process Felipe. of anime. You're a pirate and joined the Whitebeard's crew. 
Yeah. Sadly, he dies while Luffy's trying to save him. It's ironic because he literally, because Luffy's about to get, you know, KO'd and then he jumps in and takes the shot. Right, yeah. right. But, oh my god. No, I think he's, if we're talking about, like, importance to, like, the story, I think he's, like, S tier minimum. A, S tier minimum. Just because, like, his character was so relevant in Luffy's, like, development. He, that was the first, that was one of the main times he's had to deal with, like, humongous loss. And honestly, it was, like, a make or break point for his character. Yeah. It literally broke Luffy when they died. Of course. He literally watched it happen. All right, guys. So where are we settling on putting this this person? He's F tier. Agreed. S tier, S tier. All right, all right. Put him up there with, with the, the goat, Jiraiya. All right. Yeah. Frieza. Frieza. Dump Frieza. that bitch to the box. <laughs> what? You guys don't like Frieza? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. I'm just saying that shit because he's a Character player. development for Goku, though. Uh, He was... I mean, the Namek, the whole Namek thing with Frieza was, like, the first time Goku ever really, like, fought outside but, of Earth. Well, see, right. on, see here because of the five minutes thing on Namek. It, 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 that did not take five fucking minutes. That's true. And when he came back as Golden Frieza, it was just super boring. Because, like, first off, can we just acknowledge that whatever species Frieza belongs to is the most broken species in existence? He's a prodigy. He, like Goku. Sure? Yeah, yeah, but Goku, Goku's a prodigy and he's a Saiyan, right? But he's like, but Goku's, but Goku's a dumb genius. And even Vegeta, someone who's like super smart, is still behind the dumb genius. I don't know. But this guy who's a complete arrogant cunt literally reached god level power within four months when Goku's probably been doing that for like 10 I like, years. I like Frieza decades. at B tier because I don't think I could put Frieza with Ryu. Like, he didn't have, like, Frieza was actually a character who served a purpose. More purpose right, than Ryu. Right. I can settle he with the B-tier. main protagonist stronger. I agree. Yeah, he was. I just cannot imagine, like, him being compared to Master Roshi. So if, if if we're not doing this, but if we were like having like low and high B tiers, the bitch would be so close to the bottom. <laughs> Alright, next character. You guys got this one handled. A Kainu. Fuck a Kainu. He killed Ace. Bro. Bro, this guy is so annoying. His whole thing is I hate everyone, like absolute justice, whatever the hell. Literally, he would murder an innocent civilian if they were if they were like, I don't know, suspected of fucking what's it called? Illegal activities. Uh, of littering. Not even. Just like if they were suspected of littering, he put he put a magnifist through their heart. All right. So are we putting him at garbage? Absolute trash, human being. All right. Uh, just garbage. to be clear, this, this this tier list is based on like like how awesome the character is as like a character. Period. Right. Not how strong. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Like like yeah. presence. Like it's a lot uh, of things that okay, goes into okay, it. Okay. Don't get me wrong. This character was relevant because he's the one that killed Ace in the first place. But he's but his whole character is just like I don't even flawed. Yeah. I mean, all the admirals are flawed in some way, but justice is subjective. Wait, who's right. that next character? That is, I don't I forget his name, but he's Hunter X. Uh, so I definitely don't know him. All right, that means you got this ether. Basically, this guy, uh, I forgot his name, sorry. He done the hunter exam to get rich, to, um, I think, cure his mother's disease. I think. I'd have to look it up, but he is a great guy all around. Well, the most important question for this particular tier list, right, is, like, were they, like, super relevant, like, interesting? Were they, like, a really built Yeah, character? like, he had a good motive. Oh, a really funny character, contributed a lot to the show. It sounds like right. an A tier, B tier. This rating completely falls on you. Even the main cast, if that helps. All right, so where would you put him? A tier. All right. All right. Tier it is. I don't know this next character either, but he looks cool. I don't uh, know who I'll oh, go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? His name is uh, Anza I, Or Anza Or something. A- Ash is so excited. This is like his part. All right. All right. Ah, this character is great. So, literally, the... <laughs> it's funny. The whole show is about the fact that some game was get, was going to get put offline. Uh, and it was like the main game he played. And then he got isekai into <laughs> into that game as the as his character. Basically, he's, I don't know, 
how, I don't know how to grade him. He's, he's stupid OP. His necromancy skills are magnificent. It's very true, but but he did forcibly change the code of one of the characters to like him, which was Abedo. So where does that leave him, and what tier does his play? I want to say he's an S tier character overall. I can't wait till we start getting into like the SS and SSS tiers. But uh, yeah, would you say S tier or SS or SS tier, uh, Ether? Well, I really enjoyed the anime, so I'm a little biased. That's fair. That's fair. We uh, could I think let's settle on S tier. S tier. Yeah. I'm gonna say SS. Well, we what? gotta compare him to who's in S tier, right? Yeah, yeah. I think he matches up with those characters pretty well. Wait, what anime is he from again? Uh, I forgot Overlord. Oh, Overlord, right? Is that a good... all right? I might have to watch that. All right, next we got uh the uh, MC of Tanjiro. Demon Slayer. Yeah, Tanjiro. Uh, I've only seen like the first season, first and a half season. It's a really good anime. It's just he's kind of a whiny boy. He whines a lot, you know, but he's a decent MC. I, I put him at, like, B or he's A. A, He's a very well-built character. His whole thing is, like, his family got slaughtered. Yeah, family, family got slaughtered. He kept his positive. His sister was the only one to survive. But as a Honestly, demon. personally, I found the story kind his of... His whole end, quest? But... Yeah, whole and then quest Rengoku got to... killed. Rengoku got killed, yeah. to get, uh, find a cure for his sister. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I put him I at think like. The story's kind of well built, but his character is very one dimensional. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get flamed for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put him at B tier later because remember I haven't seen like the whole show. I think we should put him at B tier. He's like very like simple, childish. Like he's not like a, a Naruto type of MC or like a. Right. He's a little, yeah, he's a little simple, like, very childish. I put him at B tier, though. He's had, like, development, like, the Rengoku death made him stronger and more motivated, but I, I still keep him at B tier. Alrighty, but, uh, but he's also in the same tier as, like, Master Roshi and Frieza. So maybe he's, like, more A tier. Yeah, but, I mean, just me, I think Frieza had a bigger contribution to his story than, like, I don't know, like, Presence, but... I'm willing to A tier, yeah. From now on, I'm willing to A tier. If I feel like we should change it, we'll change it. Yeah, we'll move. We'll move right. stuff around as we go. Um, who's uh, the next uh, character? She's the same, Yeah, she's from the same anime, Overlord. Uh, Alberto is interesting because uh, <laughs> uh, let's just say Alberto. Let's just say Alberto wants that big skeleton. Yeah, uh, I Alberto see. wants that big skeleton. Very much so. I put, it's ironic because that big skeleton don't have genitals, but whatever. Uh, Alberto's probably, I want to say B tier. B tier or lower? So do I B tier, I guess. Uh, Ether, you want to chime in or you agree? I agree with B tier. All right, then. All right, you guys are the next character. I don't recognize this one either. Do I even recognize I don't know that character. I don't, I don't think I know that character. It looks like Obi Wan from Star Wars, but in anime form. <clears throat> I guess we'll put her. We'll put him in IDK. Us. Yeah. <clears throat> we got um, Baki next. Baki, I haven't watched it. I'm sorry, I can't. I haven't watched it either. Have you watched it? I that's like sub. I've seen a decent amount. He has a good story, like solid anime. I think I put him in B. I think I put him in A tier, I've B tier. I've seen clips on YouTube. I haven't seen a single thing from it. It's a boxing anime. It's, it's pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, I actually know. I've seen some pictures. They have dumb amounts of muscles. I got. I'm gonna put him in A tier. I actually like him as an MC. Alrighty. All right. Next character. Now, Asta from Black Clover. Oh, uh, I haven't. He seen streams him. way too much, but he's a good character. He has a good heart <laughs> on him. He doesn't. He can't use magic. But he has swords that nullify magic. Hmm. Oh, wait, guys. Uh, just, just to put something out there. Um, we don't want this video to be, like, an hour long. No, it's cool. There's going to be two parts to it. Uh, okay, okay. But, yeah, where would you guys rank this character? Well, have you two watched that Clover? 
Uh, no, I, I haven't watched it, so I'm depending I've on I've seen, you. like, maybe an episode or two, but that was, like, in middle school, so that was a while ago. Yeah, that's when he was going through, uh, well, all of us yeah, were going we through were phases. This, this YouTube setup. We were well, all going through phases. Then Asta would definitely be... Hmm. That was the anime watching phase for us. That is when I got into anime. Asta's gift C tier. C tier? I got you. Alright, I don't know the next oh, character either, so Uraraka. that's all you guys. Uraraka, uh, Uraraka from My Hero Academy. My Hero Academia. No, yeah, it's My Hero Academia. Uh, have you seen this either? I'm caught up. Oh, you're caught up? I caught up maybe like uh, two years ago, so I'm not caught up. Uh, Uraraka. The li uh, she's She's supposed to be like the main love interest for Deku, which is the which is the MC. But if I'm so honest with you, if I'm so honest with you, I find this character the opposite of appealing in terms of like everything. Like this character is so boring. Her powers makes, are kind of interesting, but she makes things float. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you could. I'm sure she comes up with a ton of creative ways to use it with a ton of equipment. But that's I, I'm not caught up, so I don't know if she has or hasn't. But Long story short, her character, I well, find Well, she also makes boring. other people float, so combo moves are pretty great. That's true. <laughs> uh, but we're not here to talk about power. We're here to talk about character design. I think she's very boring, but that's just me. So where does uh, that leave her at? I would put her in, like, C tier personally, but I... Like, C, B, but probably C. She can but be our first D tier. C tier it is. What's up, Ether? She can be our first D tier. Oh, okay. All right, bye, bye, bye. Put it in D tier. I like the idea of a first D tier. <clears throat> now we got... All right, next we got Boruto? the whiny, whiny <laughs> Yo, Hokage son, Boruto. Boruto next. Boruto. I haven't seen Boruto. I just heard a bunch of bad shit about it, and I just never got around to it. Yeah, I'm not, not going to lie, bro. Opinion. I've seen a little bit of it. I got to say C tier. But the Hokage son, he just taught nothing. Yeah, and he complains that his dad's never available. By the way, since I haven't actually seen it, I gotta ask. Uh, does Baruto ever inherit the Nine Tails? No. No. Uh, He's a bozo. He has a karma mark. He has a what mark? Karma mark. What does that even mean? Like, like the like the Nine Tails chakra made an imprint on his on his on his firstborn or something? Mm. Not really. It's basically an elemental mark. I'm not sure. I don't know. I gotta say, like, what does? Following up Naruto, he's kind of a disappointment of a main character compared to Na Naruto. So I'm gonna put him at C tier. If you guys agree with that, that's fine. Uh, I can All right. agree. Who's this white this character? Yeah, I don't know this white-looking pillow. Me Believe either. it or not, that oh oh okay. So y'all haven't seen all of Seven Deadly Sins. Okay, so. It, that that friendly looking little cat is actually a giant evil monster that wants to consume everything in existence. Sounds like an anime I need to watch. No, it's yeah. very true. Uh, basically, it wanted to consume chaos. It wanted to consume the power of chaos in order to consume everything else. It wanted to just consume everything. That, that, it was it was just constantly wanting to delete the world. So get to the tier list. Uh, let's see. It was it was a very short lived character. It was a very unexpected uh, like rise when it started to just exist. But if I had to rate it, I'd put it in. Honestly, it, it's it, it's CB tier, but I need to make a decision because it was so irrelevant. I feel like C is the best since you say it's irrelevant. Definitely, <laughs> it it just wasn't. It, it was like almost a side story near the end that gave the story an ending. It just wasn't really. All right. Um, this next one. Here we go. go. Thank you. Uh, I haven't seen the, that anime. Dr. It Stone. It's not great. great. Okay. This means that Ether has this ranking. I think I would... one thousand years into the future. Wait, no. Uh, my brain. Anyways, thank you, and all of humanity are turned into stone. Right. Thank you, from our knowledge, has, was the first one to break out of the stone. Basically, the scientists. 
<laughs> yeah, but like, how would you write this character to them? I was trying to get some backstory first because uh, you guys haven't seen it. No, of course, of course. I, you, I, I knew about the stone, that's about it. You're handling the tier list anyways. So, where would we put it at? I mean, his fight with Sukasa was great. So, I'm a one put him in that. Alright. Okay. Okay. That's all up to you. This is a this is a team effort here. Very much so. Now, who's that next character? Alright, this is uh, Reiner! 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 Is that the guy from uh, Attack on Titan? Yes, Attack yes. Titan. Oh, look, I haven't I, finished Attack on Titan. I gotta be honest with you, man. Reiner has a dope backstory. Like, me personally, I put him at A tier. Honestly, I, you could wait. I can't. I can't really like uh, binge in on this one. So like, that's y'all. Man's like he has a mission from Marley to go to um what's it called the uh the island. Paradise. Right, the island of the devils. Um, yeah, the Paradies. Then he he plays out that he's not like that. He's basically from there and everything. And then he the whole plot to us happens. He turns turns in the armor Titan causes the break of the wall, all that like W backstory. And then the whole like scene and. The last, uh, the, the season four where Aaron is talking to him and Marley, and then Aaron turns into the Titan right in front of him. Sorry, that's an A tier character. Reiner, Reiner's a really good character, in my opinion. All right. All right, also next. Oh, we got, uh, the, the main character from Monkeys. man, Luffy. Luffy, oh, yes. Yeah. Strawhead Luffy. All right, all right. You, you can't follow me here. S, 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 whatever the tier. Triple S. Triple S. Sure. Is he really that good of a character? He's got a great backstory. I haven't seen One Piece yet. Would you guys recommend it? Most, to me? literally one of the most lovable MCs in all of existence. He never does anything wrong. He's the best. All right. He uh, never got... does anything wrong. Super creative with his powers. Super like easy to follow and lovable like goals and ideals. All right. This is um. What's it called? This is uh. All right. This is the guy from Demon Slayer. I forgot his name though. Inosuke. Oh, I know Inosuke, that. yeah, Inosuke. I, I gotta it say, the whole thing that Inosuke was. Wait, wait, what character was this? Inosuke, this is like the guy, like the boar. I don't know, like uh, he's an okay character, wait, like beast breathing. Yeah. Wait, Inosuke, wait, is Inosuke a boy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I just remember there was some confusion about that. Someone told me. Yeah, because he wore the mask for a while, and then you saw his face eventually. No, I think it was because of his... I think it's because he had, like, a like a female face. What's it called, yeah. though? Um, He has long hair, that's what it is. But he's in a, I feel like he's kind of okay of a character. Like, he's nothing crazy. He's just, like, really he's, hyper. Follows he's around. <laughs> he follows around Hanjiro. I'm going to put him... I think we should put him at, like, C tier, B tier. I can easily live with that, yeah. Yeah, I'll put yeah, him at C too. tier. Next, we have the other um guy. That was who... Anitsu, guy who passes out and does cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> this character is funny as fuck. I oh, and he simps. Here. He simps for Tanjiro's sister. He really does. Um, I feel like he's also along the same plane, maybe just a little bit better, but I think he's a C tier also. Yeah. I put him in B personally, but like you know, two votes over one C. Yeah, yeah, I gotta put him in C tier. All right, I don't. I know this guy's from DBZ, but I don't know him. Beerus, the Beerus. god of destruction. I don't think there's been a single anime where all three of us have actually seen. But uh, Beerus. This is, Beerus, is Beerus is Dragon is Ball more favorite. Of like an arrogant. It's he's more of an arrogant god than anything else. Where would you put I him? I would put him. He's also the reason Goku became a Super Saiyan god to begin with. Where are we putting him at? Mid. I want to put him like maybe A tier. Ether says mid. Why? Hmm. Why would you just say to, mid, Ether? Just, just to reiterate for everyone watching, this is not based off power. This is based off of uh, personality, like, you know, importance. Design. Yeah. Um, I think I'd put him like B tier. Yeah, that's one of my B tier. What's up, yeah, B tier? The character design, B tier. But honestly, the majority of Dragon Ball characters aren't really like crazy deep. Except All right. like Vegeta. Everybody really loves Vegeta's character. We're stopping right before um L. So we're going to do Goku and we're going to do this next other guy. But Goku, I think we can all agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Goku. Ooh, Goku. Goku. That's, Dragon this Ball, is... that's the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, too. Goku. 
I yeah. know for a fact Vegeta's gonna make SSS if uh, if he comes up, but Goku might be SS. Might be. His character design is also very simple. It's very lovable, but also very simple. Yeah, it is. Same, same as Luffy. Actually, no, but they. Hmm. But he is one of the most popular known MCs. You know. Uh, that's true. That's Played a big okay. part in anime. Everybody knows him. Super Saiyan, you know, all that crap. All the video games. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, the, in, the, in, the industry's blown his back out, so. Yeah, um, who is uh, this next character? Who is that? Who is this? I have no idea. Who is this? Yeah, who... Wow, ending ending part one on a I don't know. That's crazy. Them. Yeah, we're gonna end this one on I don't know. We all don't know. Make sure to let us know in the comments who the hell these people are. Yeah, who who are these three characters? Please tell us. But uh, I just want to thank you guys. Educate ourselves. Um, I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. We can't promise that we'll be able to put them in their proper placing in uh, part two. But because we have, we'd have to watch the anime. But. Yeah, of course. But um, I just want to thank you guys. guys. Could, like, give like a ranking. We can take like a general, based off whatever the average is. Right, right. So um, thank you guys all for watching this part one. Part two will be out soon after. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Go check out these two. Their channels will be linked. And uh, stay tuned and notified for part two. I'll see you guys later.